Greetings Multiverse! Gotham Knights is now out in the wild and a lot of people have already completed the main campaign and it's disappointingly few villain side stories. Many players, myself included, are hoping developer WB Montreal is going to start adding further villain encounters as DLC. But it may interest you to learn that the developer actually cut at least one major villain and his story out of Gotham Knights. Harvey Dent, aka Two-Face. Other than perhaps the Joker, Two-Face is the villain who is most conspicuous by his absence in Gotham Knights. Go back to the summer when Gotham Knights was first being teased and everyone still thought it was a Batman game, WB Montreal released several teaser images and one of them was this one reading face to face. In other words, Gotham Knights got a clear tease for Two-Face literally years before WB Montreal even mentioned Harley Quinn or Clayface, who have their own full side missions. And yet, cut to October 2022, the game's now out, and Two-Face not only doesn't feature in the game, he's barely even mentioned in Gotham Knights beyond a couple of name drops in cutscenes. Most fans are probably surmised by now that Two-Face was completely cut out of Gotham Knights, but now data miners looking to the game's files have encountered proof that not only was Two-Face originally in Gotham Knights, he had a full side mission like Harley, Clayface and Mr. Freeze. They have data mined this symbol, which clearly shows the Gotham Knights version of Two-Face. It appears to be a mission marker, similar to the ones for the villains or other characters like the Penguin or Lucius Fox. This would appear on the map, so you'd go there to get the Two-Face side story mission whatever it was going to be. Sadly, there are no further details on what that Two-Face side story was actually about, at least not in the game's files, so we can only theorise about what it would be about. Two-Face is a bit more of a grounded enemy than the Court of Owls, like the Penguin, so it seems likely that the mob faction probably has something to do with him. Mr. Freeze has the regulators and Harley has the freaks, so the mob not having any particular leader does stand out a bit. Plus, just like the other villains in the game, Harvey Dent clearly has issues with Batman. We only get to hear a little bit about him in Gotham Knights, such as how a news report says he's still incarcerated at Blackgate, like Harley Quinn, and how at the end of the plotline, where the Knights plant evidence to show Bruce Wayne isn't Batman, Batman was supposedly fighting Two-Face across town while Bruce Wayne was waving his junk in Penguin's face. The footage is supposedly from a GCPD sting operation? exactly when Batman was last fighting Two-Face. Although that's more of a reason for Penguin to hate Bruce Wayne than Two-Face to hate Batman. Of course, the big question is if WB Montreal is planning to release the Two-Face side story as Gotham Knights DLC at a later date. Of this, we can only guess. But it all depends on whether Gotham Knights gets any DLC at all beyond the heroic assault raid at the end of November. If it's been planned, either for paid or free, then you would have thought that Warner Brothers would have at least announced the Gotham Knights would get DLC expansions. You know, like at all. However, if the game does get villain DLC, then I'm certain Two-Face will be first in line. Unless WB Montreal says what it's planning or explains what role Two-Face was going to have in Gotham Knights, then we may never know what his side story was about. Still, thanks to data mining, we can at least confirm that Two-Face was in Gotham Knights at some point, but is now merely cut content. But what do you guys think of the fact that Two-Face was cut out of Gotham Knights? Would you like to see him as DLC, or do you think we won't get any DLC at this point? Let me know either in the comments below or on the inside of the Multiverse Discord server, which you can find a link to in the description below. Please like, share and subscribe, it all really helps me out, and check out my other videos on Gotham Knights. Thanks for watching, and DC Comics Gamer, out!